thought you were dead. Jakal. He. He betrayed us. They're all dead. What? Yes. But it doesn't matter. We have to get away from here. His armies. They're everywhere. And they're killing everyone. What about Lilanya? Is she alright? Yes. Yes, she's asleep. But where do you want to go? We're... Come on. Get inside. We'll talk about it there. Our brother. He's here too. He arrived last night. Kumar? I thought he was up north. He was, yes. But he rode back when he heard about the siege. He wants to help defend the city. He will be angry when he finds out that you fled, you know? Staying would have been suicide. He would understand. Hmm. Why are you here? The Treasure Master betrayed us. And Jakal's troops have gone crazy. They're massacring their entire city. They said we... I know that. But you didn't answer my question. Why are you here? Where else should I be, damn it? The High Ones won. They won, and this accursed cleansing will happen, whatever it is. But if there's only the slightest chance that we can make it through, I will use it. Unlike you, I do have someone I need to take care of. Let's hope she doesn't take out her father. Your cowardice disgusts me, brother. You never understood what it meant to be an Ashim. I knew that would happen. He's such a bulldog. For him, there's nothing but his goddamn honor. At least since he lost Yalek, yes. He won't let us flee. You do realize that, right? He will force you to keep your oath. To stay and fight. To the death. I will talk to him. We'll do this, sister. Somehow. Yes. Of course we will. There's still some stew. I will prepare a bowl for you, alright? You go look after the little one. I think she is slowly beginning to understand what's happening here. Go and get Eric. We're leaving. Well, isn't that good time? I have been thinking, and I have decided that I will not let my only brother die as a deserter. We will ride to the city at first light and help with the defense. That's not going to happen. I told you that. Zura and I will take Lelander and flee to the north. Come with us or don't, but you will not get in our way. Period. Period. Thank the highest being that we're family. Just thank the highest. <laughs> Kill them! Kill them all! Oh, by the name of the sun! Do something, Peric! Keep them out of here!
any of this. Just let us go. I have a daughter. So, I hope you slept well. Well, what do you think? I brought you here. After you broke into my sanctum and made your little journey into the realm of the dead. <coughs> oh, please, don't look at me like that. I knew what you were up to from the start. Sadly enough, I did. No, you don't. Because you don't dare to question. Peculiar situation, all of this, isn't it? Suddenly you, the fugitive urchin, become mankind's salvation. And suddenly, just like that, out of nowhere, you can perform feats others would require decades to master. Even better, you are one of the emissaries who can hear the echo of the future. But still, you never ask yourself why. You're right, I do. But if there's one thing time has taught me, there are things one has to realize for him or herself. You can't force insight on people. 
Who am I? Hmm. Back then, I might have given you an impressive response to that. But at this time, I couldn't say anything that would help you. Let's just say, I'm an observer. A fleshless eye, if you prefer. In this era, you might also know me as the aged man. Amongst other things, yes, the cycle. Yes, and I'm certain that irritates you. But timelessness isn't that much of a feat. You will find that out yourself soon enough, too. Believe me, all I say is quite thought through. But unfortunately, there's no point in pursuing this conversation any further. You have what you came for, and the rest is up to you. Even though I doubt it will make much of a difference. Maybe you could do just that, but time will tell. Now, forgive me. You? But... what the heck was that? Where's the manor? Try me. Any explanation's better than none. Uh-huh. That sounds... strange, to say the least. After you went down that shaft, someone locked the door to the study. And I couldn't get it open, no matter what I tried. Well, a couple hours later, I found myself face down in a puddle of mud. But anyway, these glyphs you drew on paper look good to me. So at least officially, this mission was a success. I only wish I could. You see that? Hmm. What's that? Yes, miss. But where's this noise coming from? This is it? But... Then the aged man left it on purpose. For us. Whew. Maybe I'm jumping to conclusions, but it seems to me as if this fellow knew a lot more than we did from the start. Still, we should take this thing with us. Let's go back to Ark and report to the Grand Master. I've got a scroll right here with me. Well then, let's go. Here we are. Sister? I suggest you go well, inside yes, and tell yes. the Grand Master what happened. Ah, oh, you. And give him the casket. How are I'll things? go grab my pay now, and little... then I'll head back to the tavern. Well, I guess I need a good okay. pipe. Just wait and see, fucking sissy. 
Christmas, whatever Just walk it's... blessed. Where is this... Walk blessed. Prophetess, were you successful? Then tell me. Oh well. So he knew about the cycle. That's disquieting and interesting. Yes, maybe that's an attempt to help us. He's not against us, because if he were, he wouldn't have let you out alive. Hmm. I bet that the Lightborn also knew more about the aged man than they told us. This explains why Malfas told the Order specifically not to bother him. But we will discuss his identity another time. Bring both of them to the Archmagister so that we can activate the Sigil Stone. Oh, and one more thing. What did the Pyrenees in your memory call those behind the cleansing? The High Ones? Good. Then the enemy has a name now. Come back to me once you've talked to Meragil. So he knew about the cycle. That's disquieting and interesting. Have you heard? Apparently the Blue Islands Coalition's... Jarem dor banubis, locorem tares. Blasted blistering blazes. You sound like a boozed up poet. This is supposed to be magic. <laughs> Trippy is a dangerous school, my sir. One false word and the stone could burst into flames. Well, keep up this babble and he might do it on purpose. You godlabs are just missing the pepper, even when you're doing magic. Pepper? Magic needs to have prudence, not pepper. She's like a sick frog. If you... Prophetess, you're back. Son be praised. Working with these fumblers is harder than teaching complex mathematics to a Leor. The scrounger already told me about your success. Good work. Have you got the glyphs? Yes, 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 just show me already. Uh, um, ah, yes, that does make sense. Now, if it isn't the prodigy, well... Ha! We'd be a pretty pathetic order if that was all of us, wouldn't we? No, only a handful of us came here. Let's just say the others weren't as thrilled by the idea of joining forces with our arch enemies. Not all of them. No. Most did, but they didn't connect the dots. Or, which is more likely, didn't want to. And yes, I am frustrated to see that much ignorance in our own ranks. But those who matter are here. That's important. Uh, quite some questions you're asking there, girl. But why not? You're not one of those godlams, so where's the harm in telling you? Yes, the Lightborn are dead, killed by the Shadowborn. But truth be told, too little has changed for us to feel any different, if that makes sense. Yes, but that's because the Lightborn have left a power vacuum, and everybody feels obliged to fill it himself. Plus, there's the cycle, which seems to drive people into violence. 
I'm talking about grand scale changes, such as in the way we think. To know that gods can be killed, that there is no other power in life than life itself. That has to do something with people, doesn't it? The most religious country of all. And yet, people act as if nothing has happened. All it needs is some fancily dressed up clergyman to tell them that the rumors are false. And they swallow it like mulled wine and go on about their business. Well, I've been thinking about that. I suppose it's because the Lightborn's reign has always lived from people believing them to be divine rather than actually being it, if that makes sense. They're, they're more like symbols. <laughs> Regret? Far from it. The gods were tyrants, and they robbed mankind of their right to self-determination. Regardless of the consequences, what we enabled, the Shadow God... Step back, I'll show you how this works. Jarem Dorba Nubis, Lokarem Taris Danida, Sharak Lisham Ra! By the righteous path. Are you feeling this? Yes, this is impressive. Tr truly impressive. Are those the shards? They're certainly not your underpants, are they? According to the Piraean writings, these shards offered protection. against the Red Madness, as long as the Sigil Stone remains active. Prophetess, you're the one who found the missing... So, how do you feel? Very well. Then let's hope that this Sigil Stone lives up to its promise. Boy, go and tell the Quartermaster that every Keeper, as well as each one of us, is to be wearing one of these fragments by nightfall. Boy? Buzz off. My sir, I really don't think this... <sighs> Do what he says, Legion. <sighs> that is not how you will make friends here, Firespark. Not at all. If it were friends I was looking for, I certainly wouldn't be here. Once again, good work. Old Aranthiel asked me to give you that, so you could buy better equipment. Now go back to him, and let him tell you about the next mission. It seems that Lishari has once again dug up something that could change everything. Yeah, this just doesn't make any Let's sense. Hope he knows what he's Why can't... Ever be easy, yes. Sigil Stone, wasn't it? Very well. That only leaves us with Pegast's excavation. I'll make it short. We assume that in the last cycle, the Pyrians worked on a machine which they hoped would save them from the cleansing. An old artifact which they tried to put back together. Well, we do know that the cycle is not an ordinary threat. It functions in a way we have not even come close to comprehending almost like a cosmic force. This makes it naive to believe one could face this threat like a foe made of flesh and blood. Maybe, however, this machine can. 
As I said, the Pyreans didn't invent this machine. They merely reconstructed it from old plans they found somewhere. And if they thought this idea was worth pursuing, we should at least look into it. Pegast found an old ruin named Old Dothelgrad, which seemed to be some kind of laboratory of the Dilgar, one of the ruling castes in the Pyrian era. She assumes that we might find hints about this machine there, or maybe even a prototype. I want you to help her in any way possible. Maybe your gift can reveal things normal eyes can't see. They were the two different castes who ruled the Pyrian realm. Officially, they were servants of their highest being, the deity all of Pyria worshipped, but everyone knew that it was the castes who had the power. And while the Ishin valued tradition, the Dilgar valued progress, which, as you can imagine, led to differences between the two, to say the least. They were the light born of the Pyrian era, you could say. Yes, because they never had a chance to finish it. And even if the machine does not work, any knowledge we can get from their struggle against the cycle is crucial. It's in a remote section of the heartland. Keeper Sakaresh will accompany you there and show you the way. Good luck. <laughs>